Right now, I'm headed north over San Pablo Bay. I'm planning on landing at Noss Field, and the weather tells us that runway 31 is ideal. Since I'm approaching from the south, you might think a straight in on runway 31 would be appropriate. However, there are noise sensitive areas to the south and southeast of the airfield, which we would like you to avoid. The traffic patterns for both runways are on the east side of the airfield, and so a good plan is to look at the mouth of the river and that ridge of hills which ends in Sears Point and try to put yourself between those. Beware that Sears Point sometimes has sport events which will result in a temporary flight restriction. As you cross over the bay, it's a good time to let the local traffic know where you are. To correctly join the downwind for runway 31, we have to fly along parallel to this line of hills and then make a 135 degree turn to the left that puts us on the 45 for the right downwind for runway 31. I like to stay just west of the hills to avoid the inevitable rough air from the terrain, but if you need the extra space to make that turn, there's nothing stopping you going over there. A good ground reference for turning onto the 45 is this S bend in the river. Again, if you reference the bend in the river, local pilots will probably know what you're talking about. Now, one important decision is going to be whether you fly inside or outside the transmission towers. They are 500 feet tall, they are well below the pattern, but it is good to decide whether you're going to be on the inside or the outside. Flying inside the towers will mean you have a very tight base to final, but it will mean that you're more likely to be within gliding range should you have a problem in the pattern. Whichever you choose, turn onto the base leg as you are abeam the towers. This will again keep you away from the noise sensitive areas. On base you will see these two ridges with a lake in between. That is aligned with the runway, so that's where you're going to be making your turn to final. There is a two light pappy on the left side of the runway which designates a four degree glide slope and a windsock should be visible on the right side. The runway is 3,300 feet long, 75 feet wide, and has an elevation of about three feet. Once landed, the transient parking area is on the west side of the runway to your left. 